I'm joined now by our Rodolfo, tenor Piotr Bacawa. Piotr, hi, and wow, hi. that was amazing. <laughs> that was that's, a wow moment, yeah. That was a wow, the audience went wild. I Thank mean, that you. had to feel good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's a really something special, you know, when, when you have this kind of response from, from the public. And it's an intense role. You've yes. talked about how it goes almost from bel canto to late yes. Verdi. Tell us about that. Yeah, the, the development of the role is really uh, dramatic. You mm. know, it starts in a kind of uh, Donizetti style almost, mm. and then we go further into the opera, is going drama more dramatic and more dramatic. And we are now uh, uh, expecting a really Otello moment. Uh, and wow. it's really also musically and vocally very, very different. It's difficult to, I mean, it oh, sounds yeah. easy to you, but what's the hardest yeah. part of it? That's my job to, 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 to uh, show the people how easy it could be, but uh, the drama is there, you know? You have to find amazing intensity in, in this kind of uh, roles. And, uh, you know, it's pure Verdi, you know? He tried to, uh, find some situations for his later operas, you know, even like you know, from Otello. Absolutely. And in shaping the role, have you worked with conductor Bertrand de Billy in terms of making oh, it yeah. musically? No, it's, it's my third uh, role debut in, in this season wow. after <laughs> Adriana, uh, uh, Carmen and uh, Rodolfo in Luisa Mila. But no, we got really enough uh, time to, to, to prepare it well because we got a couple of weeks rehearsals and I know Bertrand very well. We have fantastic cast and now that's... Oh, it's uh, amazing. It's... But do you, when you're doing this as you're going, do you think about pacing yourself, saying, go easy here, give more here? How does it work? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, actually not. No? No, because I know what I can and what I can't. And, that's amazing. Uh, so you have it in yeah, your body. Yeah, yeah, you have to play. On the stage, you don't have to think about uh, technique or uh, save some voice or whatever. No, no, no. You have to really play uh, what you have to play. Fascinating. Uh -huh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so Placido has sung this role. Yeah. Did he give you advice? Yeah, we talk a little bit about that, you know. It's really funny because, you know, I know he has a, a lot of experience yeah. uh, with this role and, and with Verdi in particular. And we, we talk a lot uh, about moments and, uh, you know, some interpretations and really that's, nice. That's so fun. But, you know, Placido has also expanded his role farther and farther from yeah. tenor into... Do you ever think you could do something oh, like that? Oh, I don't think so. You know, I have none of the plans, you know. <laughs> but I appreciate it very much, you know. Yeah. This kind of uh, unique experience uh, with his, uh, you know, whole repertoire is really something very special. It's kind of amazing. So, yeah. without giving the plot away for Act 3, what would you say is what you're looking forward to doing most? Uh, it's, uh, it's really difficult because this act, at the end of the opera, is completely new for me too, mm. from, from the kind of uh, uh, emotions. Because I never did Otello. We spoke with Tassido, he told me, you know, it's like Otello, but I'm sorry, I never sang Otello. <laughs> right. It's not that easy for me. Yeah. Uh, but it's really this direction, and uh, you have to just uh, play another person. Yeah. Bertrand told me, you have to start this, the, the last scene, like nobody will recognize who is the guy, also vocally. You have to change the voice a little bit, you know, settle down and make it darker. Wow, well, we'll be listening for all these new colors and character changes. I'm so excited for Act 3. Piotr, thank you, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. and toy, toy, toy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Greetings for everybody watching us. Yes, greetings to everyone. Especially in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Hi.